Hey, what's up, Fishaholics? So I just jumped in the car. I just packed the car, and I'm actually going to be heading to Barnstable, Massachusetts in this video. And uh, the reason for that is because uh, I go to school at Johnson Wales University, and I have an internship for December, January, and February for my winter trimester with On the Water magazine, which I'm really excited about. And, uh, you know, I can't pass up the opportunity, though, to do a little filming and hopefully do some fishing as I, uh, you know, travel through Rhode Island and head up towards Massachusetts. So I might, uh, well, first off, I'm probably going to stop off at Bass Pro Shops in Connecticut, pick up a few things, and I'll bring you guys with me. And then I'm probably going to stop off maybe at a few of the breachways in Rhode Island and then probably stop off at a holdover area in Rhode Island and hopefully, you know, connect with some stripers and then, you know, head up to, uh, towards Massachusetts. And, uh, yeah, let's go for a ride. I made it to Bass Pro in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and it took me a lot longer to get here. The traffic is just horrendous. This is 95 right behind me, and uh, I'm gonna try and make this quick. Just look at the fish tank, <laughs> check out some cool fish, and then uh, you know pick up some flora. I need some leader material. heading back on the road and uh, I'm proud of myself. I got out of Bass Pro Shops without spending $100. <laughs> I just bought four pound fluoro, six pound fluoro, and 20 pound fluoro. Just, uh, you know, the generic Bass Pro brand. And, uh, you know, the reason that for that is because it was the cheapest and they didn't have the uh, fluoro that I wanted. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll show, it'll, it'll get the job done. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back on the road. It looks like the highway lightened up. And uh, yeah, my next stop is Rhode Island probably. I might stop off, you know, on the South Shore and take a look at one of the breachways, but I'm probably just gonna go straight to my winter holdover spot, you know, because it's about that time of year. There's gonna be very few fish on the ocean front. There's gonna be more fish up in the bay. guys so I just made it to the water <laughs> right before dark it took me really really long to get here and I still actually have an hour left of driving after fishing because I'm heading up to Massachusetts and uh, it took me five hours to get here in Rhode Island kind of ridiculous but um, you know I know I think there's a few fish in the river I heard of a few guys catching some so hopefully I can get into some uh, you know a few stripers <laughs> I had to I had to get you there. <laughs> Starting out with a five inch young money minnow. Got a perfect little south wind. No north wind rather. So I can cast way out there and uh, cover a lot of water. This little young mini minnow doesn't seem to be working, so I'm going to switch over to something a little bit smaller. Try one of these Kitex Shad Impact little shads here. Perfect little bite-sized morsel. Looks good. There he is, got him. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, he's trying to take me into the... Uh, into the pilings. Finally got one. Throw my little net down. And he's in the net.
Here we go. First Rhode Island striper in a while. Lunker, right? <laughs> oh yeah, nice little guy. All right, guys, gonna try out this new spot here, or this other spot, and uh, I'm gonna start off, uh, or I switch back to the uh, five-inch young money minnow. See if I can get a bite. See what happens. I'm gonna kind of just swim this swim bait right along the bottom and I'm gonna pause it and then give it a little jig up. And a lot of times these fish are gonna nail it right after the pause. There's a good one. Fish on. on the five inch yum money minnow. Nope. Ooh, really skinny one. Here's another closer look at that bait, and I'm just rigging it on a half ounce little Kalen's jig head. I'm gonna probably try and just catch maybe two or three more, and then uh, probably get out of here. Start working my way towards Massachusetts. Oh, just had a good hit. Missed them though. Seems like a lot of the fish are on the smaller side. Might switch to a smaller swim bait after this cast if I get a bite and I don't, uh, you know, nail a fish. Oh, just had another hit. I'm going to switch over to a little bit smaller swim bait, probably a Kitek Easy Shiner swim bait. Perfect little bite sized bait right there. Let's get her done. There he is. Wow, this is a really tiny one. Miniature striper. That's why I had to throw on that smaller little four inch swim bait, Kitek Easy Shiner swim bait, so I can catch this little guy. <laughs> Just looking for one more little striper. Getting pretty chilly out here. My hands are getting like ice cold. Getting kind of late too. I want to start working my way towards Massachusetts. There he is. Wow. I think this little, this little guy is smaller than my last striper, which is kind of hard to believe. <laughs> it's like a little trout striper, the size of a trout. I probably catch trout bigger than this, but hey, make what he make what he lacks in size, he makes up with spunk. Throw them back. I'm probably gonna call it at that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, what I caught, I caught four stripers in uh, probably about around you know an hour of fishing. And uh, you know I'm gonna pack it in, <laughs> warm myself up. It's only around 38 degrees out here. And uh, then I'm gonna head up towards Massachusetts. And uh, make sure you check out the description below for all the information about tackle and equipment and how I you know film this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys out on the water.